Hey guys, as you can see the car's sort of working today. So, me and Leia are going to go and look at some vans. Let's go and have a look. So this is the only de this is the only dealership that's pretty local to us. I mean, there's one up the road, but they don't have any vans. So, let's have a look what they got here. We can get a rough idea of the prices so that we can do some van shopping in the near future. So it looks like we're going to be pretty limited here. I mean, there's a few vans, but they're going to take a lot of work. Uh, well, I'll show you around. Maybe this one. What do you think? Right, I got to do it. I got to have a look at the Nissan. Right, nine and a half thousand. It's got 158,000 kilometers on the clock. That's not too bad, to be honest with you. I mean, it looks in pretty good nick. I'll turn you around so you can have a look. I mean, I'd need to replace the headlights, definitely. The only problem with it is because it's double cab, I will not be able to fit in the back. I will not be able to lie down in the back. Let's have a look. I'll flip you around. Well, I suppose that's not a great start. It's got a flat. Right. Well, I'm going to have to get back a bit. That's definitely a contender. The only problem is I can't fit in that. And then next to that, we've got a van. But that this van looks like it's seen better days. It's only, it's only 4,900, but, Jesus Christ, watch out the way, Lay. Sorry. It's had, uh, been battered around a little bit. I mean, it's, it's the right size, I like this but it's completely poked. Yeah, this Fiat next to it, it's got no price, which is never really a good sign. Looks in fairly good nick, to be honest. Looks in pretty good condition. Sorry, I can't get you in properly here because they're so close together. Oh, it's even got a reversing camera, which would help. This is pretty nice, actually. I might ask to have a look at this one. Really nice. And then we got this one next to it. Mercedes. 15,500. Again, a bit out of my price range for what I want to do with it. And it's a short wheelbase. So... That sucks a little bit. I want a long wheelbase van so I can fit the kids in. I mean, if I was just buying for me, <laughs> I'd probably get this, to be honest with you. A little bit of a Bushwhacker. Bushwhacker 2000. It's only 3,900 as well. It's done 203,000 kilometers though. Mitsubishi. We've got a Mitsubishi as well. But I mean, this is, that's pretty awesome. Again, I won't fit in there to sleep in there. So as you can see, choices are pretty limited here where we are. I think I'm going to have to end up going online. But like this just gives you a little bit of a rough idea of the prices. I'm not going to ask to go and look inside any of them, to be honest with you, because, well, those two are way out of my price range. 15,000 plus the one's got no price on it. Here's a little Renault. But is it a Renault? This is six and a half. It's pretty decent. It's pretty decent, but it's full of seats. So we'll have to have a look. So we just got kicked out for filming, uh, apparently there's a sign there, there's no sign, he showed me the sign, it's completely faded, but we're not allowed to film. That sucks. First time I... <laughs> oh well, that really sucks. Right, let's head home. So after that epic uh, van searching mission that me and Leia just went on, we just dropped my son off at the skate park at the back with his friends, so we're going to go and see if we can get a nice cold drink. Um, as you probably know, I'm non-alcoholic now, and I'm driving, so I'll get a Coke or a nice non-alcoholic beer at the California pub, which is part of a gym, so I'm not sure that we could just go in there, but we're going to have a go and have a look what we can do. So, I'll turn you on in a sec. Right, so they didn't have any outdoor seating at the California pub. So much for California, you'd think if it was California, you'd sit outside. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to Chutkova, which is just up the road. We're going to go and have a drink there while my little boy scooters. So, see you now. Well, we're here, and unlike last time we are, when I came, which I'll stick the video up in the corner, it is rammed today. It is absolutely packed, which summertime, so I suppose it's to be expected. Oh, well, they got the horses in and out today as well. Oh. Uh, actually, Leia, what? don't we have to go back there to cross the bridge? We can go to, through water. I'm not going through water. I've got trainers on. Right, we're going to go this way and cross the bridge. I'll turn you on when we're at the pub.
trying to stay away from crowds, but it's pretty busy here as well. This is like a little pub tucked away from everything else. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's see if I can film getting a nice non-alcoholic cold beer. Right, so it was too busy to film on the inside. It's actually rammed here today. Leia's got some random Coke thing. And I'm having a Zlati Bajan 0% alcohol beer. Um, while we wait for Garen at the skate park. Uh, hopefully it's not going to be too long. I don't want to sit here all day as much as I like it here. Yeah? We'll go have a look at the animals maybe. Yeah, we'll take a walk up and have a look at all the animals and stuff in a minute. Just have this cold drink. I've just seen the guy with the best moustache down there. And I said to him, I love your moustache, mate. He's a big, old guy with a big grey moustache. And uh, he said the trick to grow an awesome moustache is to put honey on the outside and goose shit on the inside. <laughs> so I don't think I can take his word for it, but yeah, I won't, be, I won't be trying the goose shit anytime soon. <laughs> so <laughs> made me Google at least. Right, I'll turn you back on when something interesting happens. This place is absolutely rammed today. Last time I was here, it was empty. Now it is packed. Oh, the water's a bit clearer. You can see all the fish today. We were here last week and it was very muddy. Muddy swimming in there. But yeah, I mean, just another random day, I suppose. Can't believe we got kicked out of looking at vans. Bit of a nightmare, bit of a shame, to be honest. Especially when you consider that I could have been a paying customer. But it is what it is. Right, I think we're going to head off now and go pick my son up. I think he's had quite enough time at the skate park. And then I'm going to get head home and who knows let's see right guys so we're back home just been to the shop to get some non-alcoholic beer i'm trying a different flavor now because the one that tastes like normal beer well sort of like kissing your cousin tastes the same it's just not right so i've decided to go with the old zlati bajan the radler the lemon one it's really nice actually quite refreshing but yeah i'm going to keep doing this non-alcoholic thing also, I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who's supported and contributed on that coffee.com. It was really unexpected and I just want to say thank you so much. You know who you are. I'm not going to put your names out there um, for everyone to see just in case you don't want anyone to know. But yeah, thanks so much. You guys are awesome. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully, we'll find something a bit more exciting to do. Um, but like I say, I'm just trying to get into the swing of things with this vlogging, get, get into the habit of video like recording everything and yeah it'll get better over time so yeah thanks so much to all the new subscribers everyone who comments likes and shares and all that jazz thanks so much and i'll see you tomorrow peace